Casey, we are here with some super cute people. <laughs> Have you been dreaming of adventure or possibly getting lost in the Scottish Highlands just like in Outlander? Well, you don't have to go all that way to Scotland to do it. Yeah, we're going to bring it to you today with a traditional Highland dance presentation. I want to say good morning to world champion Highland dancer in full disclosure. She's actually a KTLA employee and a yes. chef. Yes, good with to Some see of her you. fellow dancers, including another world champion over here. That would be Aaron Blair. So uh, Highland Dance obviously originated in Scotland. Right. Highland Dancing originated in Scotland. It originated hundreds of years ago. And it's a solo sport. A lot of people think we might dance in teams. We actually dance on our own. It's really competitive. We dance to bagpipes and traditional outfits. And it's really something that's kind of unique over here. And it originally was only for men. Right. So originally, women were not allowed to dance. They said, no, 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 this is too hard for women. Mm -hmm. Let the man oh, yeah. handle this. <laughs> Scottish women were like, no, that's OK. We will do it. They just started competing. And now it's actually men and women compete against each other. They'll be competing against each other next year. They're actually siblings. Well, the kilts actually work better with the women anyway. I'm <laughs> but uh, so actually, all the dances, actually, they all have some, some historical significance. Yeah, so these dances are really born out of history. The dance that Aaron and I will be doing today is called the Chantreuse, and it's Gaelic for old trousers. During the Jacobite Rebellion, Brits forbade Scots from wearing the kilt because they were trying to conquer England. They didn't like it. Scots, we do a shaking action you'll see us do in the second step. It represents Scots shaking off their trousers because they want to wear their kilts. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. And so at all ages can get involved. Clearly, you've got these little ones who are involved. Why should yeah. kids be doing this? So dancing, is, studies have shown that it's really good for kids to do. Mm -hmm. It's physical fitness. It's good for your brains. You make friends. And there are a lot of unique mm -hmm. opportunities that come with Highland with traveling and going to Highland mm -hmm. Games and learning about the history. And you well, just thought it opened a school. I did. I opened a school earlier this year. Highland really means the world to me, and I wanted to help pass that on to other mm. people in my community, have them grow up with the joy that I had from Highland. And I spent three months in New Zealand with a seven-time world champion interning basically at her school and just learning about how to teach and what to do with kids and how. And Highland. the school's local? My school is in Thousand Oaks. Okay, great. And I wanted to just chat with the girls real quick um, and the handsome boy over here. Tell me about this amazing bun that's on your head. So this bun... I don't really know that much about it. But you said you were telling me, what were you telling me about it? Um, it takes a long time to prepare and a lot of <laughs> hairspray. And is this traditional, basically, you wear, the women wear the buns, is that how it is? Yep, the buns are actually a newer thing, and these buns are kind of known as California buns. It's, <laughs> the Scots have started doing it now, but it was people around here that started doing it first. And whose siblings, all three? So actually, she's my student, these two are siblings, and we awesome. all go to the same teacher, Linda Armstrong. How's it like to, to dance with your little sister? Um, it's kind of good. Yeah. Like, I'm going to be competing with her pretty mm -hmm. soon because she's moving up into where I am. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of at the same level right now. Yeah, what's the best part of your dance? Um, well, I kind of like it how, like, you actually, like, compete up against each other and you don't like have to like do it with other people you do it alone yeah. sometimes all right well we're gonna watch you right now how's that are all you right. guys ready you look so pretty all right again you okay. can find the uh, shift school of dance uh, that's in thousand oaks correct correct <clears throat> okay. and we're gonna right. let the little ones dance first and then we're gonna watch the world champions that's fine <laughs> Fancy. Okay. All right, you guys go on up. Thanks, on guys. Up. All right, and these are the world champions. Uh, let's uh, give you a little bit of information before we go. You can find the Shift School of Highland Dance online or on our website as well. You can go to west.fusta.us.